Robert, go ahead. You'll lead off. Oh. Yeah, Isaiah, the first three drives were um, pretty fantastic. And then Penn State made some adjustments and it, and it bogged down. Can you can you talk through what, what changes they did and, and what the difficulty was adjusting after that? Um, they started on a, on a bunch of different things, sending two guys off the pressure, double field. Um, went a lot of like 33, cover 40. Um, I mean, really, um, it just came down to um, who executed better and they, they executed more than us. Um, it was a lot of plays. Coach Ryan caught some great plays that I missed. Um, that I, I just got to get better. Simple as that. Um, it wasn't really nothing like that we couldn't do. It was just plays that I missed and I'm, I'm going to be better. Okay, thanks. Okay, Jeremy, you're up. Gavin, you're on deck. Go ahead, Jeremy. Yeah, hey, Zay, just wondering, what, what were the emotions like this week and, and going into this game, knowing you have a new coach, but you got one more game left to play? Just just take me through what were your guys' emotions or your emotions specifically? Man, it was tough. Uh, you know, we all love um, Coach Lovey. He was a great guy, um, great person to all of us, even to the coaches, you know. Um, so he was missed. So it was tough. Like the first couple of days, it was really emotional. Um, but we just said, like, we, we, this is our brotherhood. We're going to play for each other. We're going to fight for each other. And the coaches had our back throughout. Like, they didn't have to do what they did. All uh, the whole. Can you guys hear or are you frozen up? Are you guys all right? Oh, we got kicked out. I can hear you, Ken. All right, hold on. Nope. Looks like we got kicked off for a moment there. Uh, were you able to get that answer from Isaiah? Uh, not all of it. I say, can you repeat a little bit of what you're going through there? Sorry, man. Oh, yeah. Um, like I said, it was tough. Um, first couple of days was real emotional, but we just said we don't do it for each other. Um, because if Coach Levy was so we'd be playing that game, so that's what we did. Um, and the coaches just grinded it out with us. They didn't have to do that. They could have been using this week to go find different job opportunities, but instead they stuck with us and grinded it out. And can't thank them enough for that. So um, Brett Bielema is, is your new head coach. Just do you have any initial reaction to that? Do you know him or what was kind of the talk in the locker room and how did you guys learn about it? Um, they sent out a um, text message earlier this morning. Um, I mean, honestly, our team, we just kind of just looking for a leader. It don't matter who it is. We're ready to give him 100%. You know, whatever he wants, we're ready to do it. Thanks, Isaiah. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. We got uh, Gavin, you're up, and then uh, Colin on deck. Go ahead, Gavin. Hey, Isaiah. Uh, obviously, not the result you guys wanted today. Um, what you, you talked about, you know, needing to be better yourself. When you when you look back at the way you played this season, what sticks out to you um, as where you need to improve, and what what are you proud of about the way you played? Um, simple, just um, being more accurate. Um, making better reads, being more decisive, being a better leader. I mean, everything that comes with the game, I got to be better. And I'm going to keep getting better. That's the one thing about me. I'm going to come back next year a different player, just like I said last year. I mean, so and we're going to win a lot of games. I'll make sure of that. Um, and then, you know, welcoming a new coach today uh, for you guys. What What's just this next period going to be like for you? What's kind of going through your head about you know, what these next few weeks are going to be like? These next few weeks is just keep working. Go back home, um, recover, um, change my diet. Just just doing the little things, right? That, that's my – the next step is just doing all the little things, right? Changing my diet, um, stretching, all the little things that make me great, and, um, just becoming a better leader. Thanks, Isaiah. Okay, Colin, you're up. Alessandra on deck. Go ahead, Colin. Sorry. Isaiah, uh, kind of 
Bouncing off Jeremy's question a little bit, uh, how do you balance when you're leading up to the game? You find out you're getting a new coach hours before game time. How do you balance, you know, thinking about that, wanting to know more about that with preparing for the game? Because it seemed like you guys came out and were totally focused on, on the game when you got out there. Yeah, I mean, um, it was tough. It was kind of like almost like a job interview, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, he here watching us play, so it's like we want to make a good first impression. But I mean, it wasn't really, it didn't really bother me or the guys. At the end of the day, Penn State they just made some good adjustments and that's really what it was. Yeah, it actually pretty much led into my, my other question. Just did you treat this like a performance evaluation basically? Was there anything extra added to it just because coach, uh, your new coach was in attendance? No, I just love football. It was just another football game. I didn't have the chance to play the game I love. It wasn't really no difference. Um, even if Coach Levy was here or whoever was here, I'll just play football. That's, that's really what it is. Thank you, Isaac. Okay, Alessandra and then Joey on deck. Go ahead, Alessandra. Have you guys talked to your new coach yet? No, that's planned for um, tomorrow. Um, okay, and then second question, just can you just assess your team season? Um, it was a tough season, you know, 2020, COVID. Um, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of unexpected things happened, um, and we just fought through it. That's why I love my guys so much. It's a brotherhood. No matter what was thrown at us, no matter what happened, we just fought through it. We kept fighting. And, I mean, what else could you ask? Okay, Joey, you're up. Jim Cotter on deck. Go ahead, Joey. Yeah, Isaiah, what do you think the key was to fighting through a tough season with the daily testing and kind of hunkering down and keeping close circles? You know, how, how were you guys able to fight through that? Um, the biggest thing was just like, you got to be there for the brother next to you. That's the only way we got through it was, that's how I got through it. I was like, I can't let my brother down. They depended on me. So I just got to keep going. Even when I didn't want to no more, just had to. And Leading into this game, what was maybe the most difficult thing to do? I mean, as you kind of processed everything that's happened in the last week. Honestly, like, like everything emotional, like you don't know what's going to happen next. Um, we didn't know who the coach was going to be. We really didn't know nothing. So it was tough. It was almost everything emotional, though. It was just getting over there and just understanding, like, it's just another football game to play. Thanks a lot, Isaiah. Okay, and then we'll wrap up with Jim Cotter. Go ahead, Jim. Hey, Isaiah, I know that first play that, uh, you know, you guys brought out, uh, was kind of a little trickery there where uh, Brandon uh, lateraled it to you and then you threw it downfield. With the new coach coming in and everything, are you conducive to maybe running a different kind of style of an offense than what you were running under uh, Rod, just, you know, in case things progress the way they are? So just, just talk a little, a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm free. Whatever coach wants, um, I'm ready to run it. I'm going to dive into the playbook, uh, learn the ins and outs of the playbook. And whatever you want, I'm ready. Thanks, Isaiah. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. We got Jake uh, Hanson coming. He'll be here in just a moment. Thank you. 